G'day guys, Bob Thornton for Fishing Monthly Magazines coming to you from Bribe Island and ever popular in the boating market is runabouts and Stesco have always done a fantastic range of runabouts and uh, I've got one behind me here. Uh, Adrian Bill from Stesco, tell us about it. Alright Bob, um, today we're looking at um, one of the entry level runabouts we have in the Stesco range, this one being the uh, Skipper 449. Um, so within that range mate we have the Skipper 429, the Skipper 449 uh, and the Skipper 469. So this one being mid tier in that particular model. It is a standard boat in our range, however it does come with 3mm bottoms and 3mm smooth sides. So you'll see a lot of other brands don't have that feature, but even in our entry level runabouts we have the 3mm smooth sides. Yeah. And uh, a boat like this, um, what sort of boater is it aimed at? Okay, this is a great little entry level all rounder. So it has the protection of the windscreen as you can see, it has the two pedestal seats up the front, um, has a, a rear bench seat across the back, um, great for fishing bays, creeks, rivers, things like that, um, but also having that little bit of extra protection with the bimini to get out of the sun and the windscreen to, to get that, uh, rid of that spray on the sloppy days mate, so yeah that's, that's the idea of them. And uh, you actually sell these on a Stesco trailer made by Dumbia, uh, what's the benefit of that? Okay, yeah, all our trailers, all our boats are, are focused to be sold on these Stesco trailers by Dumbia and there's some warranty advantages uh, that the customer gets uh, the benefit of by, by choosing those trailers. So this particular boat here is a, a standard boat within our range or an entry level boat. So it goes from a standard 12 month structural warranty to two years by simply using that Stesco trailer by Dumbia. So it's a huge advantage. Awesome. Well, we've heard all about it. Let's get out on the water and test it. Thanks for that, Bob. But before we go out on the water, let's talk to Will Lee from Yamaha about what powers this Desco and Will, this 50 horsepower F50 Yamaha. Solid engine, isn't it? It's very solid, Steve. And look, we've got a lot of great engines in the range. Do I have a favourite? Yes, the F50. Why? Because I actually own one and I've got one on my own boat in my garage at home. Um, 50 horsepower, it mightn't get you 100 kilometres an hour, but it would get you ridiculously good fuel economy. What do you find on your craft? Because I, I assume we could expect similar economy from this one. Yeah, look, you're going to find that you'll get three and a half kilometres per litre in this boat at, um, at cruise. You know, drive a bit harder and you'll probably get 2.5 somewhere there. But um, look, very economical. I tend to do a lot more family boating than I do fishing these days. And, um, and just with the four-stroke technology, it's just so clean, it's quiet and it's comfortable for everyone in the family. I suppose gone are the days when you start up your boat and uh, there's a big haze of smoke and it's, a, it's a, not a, a great experience. Boating nowadays is fun, isn't it? And it's clean. Yeah, I think it's easier than ever before and, and I think more and more people are getting into it and they're having a nicer experience on the water. So, you know, it's exciting times. It really is in the outboard game and, and with the four-stroke technology that Yamaha continue to produce, we're really proud of all of our engines. Well, there you go. Adrian reckons the boat's great. Willie reckons the engine's great. Let's get on the water and bring you some performance statistics. Well there you have it, and as you can see the conditions out here have deteriorated a little bit. We've got a stiff 10 to 15 knot breeze coming in from the southeast, but uh, there was no challenge for the skipper. Um, so from the beginning uh, I noticed that launching the boat was, uh, was no drama on the purpose-built Stesco trailers, and uh, being a, of a single axle design it's going to be very easy to manoeuvre in a garage. Um, the shallow draft designs of the boats made it uh, very easy for us all to, to get in from the transom, uh, which is a great feature in runabouts. Uh, I can't imagine anyone being too keen to climb over that windscreen there. Um, once in the boat I noticed that there was a lot of deck space. Uh, at one point we had four people in this thing, uh, you know, climbing all around the place with camera gear and there was really no drama getting around the place. Um, a boat like this I think would be suited to estuaries and lakes, more enclosed waters. I think if fitted out correctly you could take it offshore, uh, however there are better boats in the Stesco range to do that. Um, a few little, little features that I noticed and really liked uh, were the grab rail on the windscreen for when it got a bit lumpy out there uh, and one thing that was very apparent to me uh, at the beginning was that huge splash well that you can see at the back uh, meaning that you're going to have a very dry ride no waves are ever going to get over that. Uh, let's talk about economy now and uh, the sweet spot seemed to be around that 4500 rpm mark. Uh, 
which gave us 37 kilometres per hour and 3.9 kilometres per litre of fuel burned. Uh, the top speed of 48 kilometres per hour, um, we were doing 5,300 RPM and we got 2.9 kilometres per litre burn, so definitely better to scale it back to around that 4,500 RPM mark. As tested, this boat would go for around the mid-20,000 range, uh, which is fantastic for the entry-level boater on a budget. Uh, and for more information on pricing and other boats in the Stesco range, uh, visit Stesco on Facebook or www.stesco.com.au.